Abby from Tilly and the Buttons and welcome to today's video which is going to be all about winter sewing. So if you've seen the other vlogs throughout last year I did a spring, summer and autumn vlog as well to go along with our sewing themed blog posts for the season. So I said in the last vlog for autumn that it's my favourite time of year to sew and that kind of carries through to winter as well because it's all about those snuggly layers and denim and needle cores and sweatshirt jerseys and it's just all my favourite fabrics. So this time of year is really one of my favourites. So like the previous videos, I've been trawling through all the online high street shops trying to pick out the trends for this season and how you can recreate them yourself with Tilly and the Button sewing patterns. So the first trend I'm going to talk about is statement sweaters. Now our Billy sweater and sweater dress sewing pattern is super popular and it's definitely a fan favourite and if you check out the hashtag sewing Billy on Instagram you'll see all the amazing makes from the community and it's just the perfect thing for this time of year when you want to be warm and cosy. So I picked out a bunch online that have got statement motifs on, that are cropped, that are long, that are oversized and using Billy as a base for all of these things is just a great place to start. So I've got some fabric I want to show you because I've basically had this huge sweatshirt jersey haul. Um, I really want to tell you what I've actually bought a couple of them for but they are our upcoming sewing patterns and they're not released yet so I can't talk about them. So these are kind of a little bit of a clue to those if you're curious. But I've picked up some gorgeous um, sweatshirt fabric from one of my local fabric shops. Um, I went for this lilac kind of mild sweatshirt jersey, fleecy on the inside and that's going to be really snug and I thought just a plain billy jumper in this one and I really would like to try my hand at some kind of iron-on motif like we launched billy with um, last year with the maker motif. I'd like to kind of do my own take on that as well on billy. Um, I've also got a light grey mild sweatshirt jersey and this one's even fleecier on the inside so it's going to be really cosy to wear and I think on this one um last year I think this time last year Tilly did a tutorial on the blog to replicate a shoulder ruffle on the Billy sweatshirt and it's a really cute hack and I found a few of them on the high street so I'm tempted because this is such a kind of plain basic colour to do something cute like a shoulder ruffle I think would be really nice um so that's what I've got planned for this one and then I've also picked up just a plain black sweatshirt jersey as well. Can't go wrong with black, it's one of my favourite colours, <laughs> super easy to wear um, and it's just a handy kind of fabric to have in my stash. So if you're also looking for a snuggly statement sweater this season then definitely check out Billy. So next up I'm going to talk about lovely loungewear, another trend I picked up on from the high street. So there's loads of joggers and cosy ho hoodie sets online at the moment um, and I don't know about you, but I would much rather wear things with elasticated waistbands <laughs> and um, pretty much just my pyjamas non-stop when you're working from home. Um, and to create your ideal loungewear set, you should definitely check out the Stella pattern from Tilly's book Stretch. It's a really great basic hoodie and joggers loungewear set that would be perfect for recreating some kind of work from home, pyjamas, I was going to say smart pyjamas, but they're probably not smart pyjamas. But if jogging bottoms and hoodies aren't your kind of vibe, then check out Juno from Tilly's But Make It Simple. I've made Juno a few times, I really love the leggings pattern. It's perfect for sleeping in as well because they don't ride up your legs because they've got a nice cuff on the bottom. So if you weren't into sweatshirt jerseys to make a Stella set with, then if you wanted a lighter weight jersey, if you've got something in your stash, then something lightweight is perfect for Juno. And going into spring, that'll be a lovely pyjama set. And fabric shops these days have such a beautiful range of printed jerseys. You can really make yourself a really cute loungewear set. I've got a bunch of jersey in my stash at the moment. It's one of my favourite fabrics to work with. Um, and I can't resist when I see a really cute jersey print. And I've got some to show you, but they're not for pyjamas, so I'll show you them next. So next we're talking base layers. Much like in the autumn vlog and blog post, base layers are definitely needed for building all your winter outfits and perfect for layering. So my two favourite patterns are Freya from Stretch and Tabitha from Make It Simple. They're my two favourite basic jersey layering patterns. I love the high neck on Freya, it's really my style. And then Tabitha is just a really cool basic top. So I've got a couple of jerseys to show you. But if you don't have Tilly's books, then check out the Agnes pattern and Coco, both great layers for creating jersey basics. So I've got a couple of fabrics to show you that I've got my eye on for a Freya and a Tabitha. 
So I've got this lightweight grey and white polka dot jersey here. It's quite a lightweight one and I think that that's going to make a really good long sleeved high neck Freya top. Perfect for layering with things like Bobby, Cleo and Mila. Patterns I'm going to talk about in a bit. And then I've also got this jersey which really caught my eye. It's not something I've seen before but it's a lightweight jersey stripe and the stripe is like a white scallop which is really cute. So I thought that that was quite unusual. It's probably a bit of a brighter colour than I would normally want to wear but I really couldn't resist that tiny scallop design and I think just a basic tab at the top or even a cocoa would really suit my wardrobe in this fabric. So another trend that was coming through on the high street was trousers but not just any old trousers, flared trousers. And we've got our Jessa trouser and shorts sewing pattern which is perfect to copy this look. So needle cord has been cropping up on a lot of the high street shops for these styles. I love sewing with needle cord. I've actually just made something in needle cord, but I can't share it with you yet. Um, but it's just one of my favourite fabrics to work with. I think it sews really well. I like that it kind of holds a shape, but it can still be drapey depending on what weight you get. And the range of colours can just be really rich. Um, and I used an emerald green and it was just gorgeous. Um, so our Jessa trousers pattern would work perfectly with needle cord. But also there are some wide-legged, elasticated trousers I was seeing a lot of. Um, made in needle cord and they were really cool and I've not seen a lot of styles like that before but They were definitely up my street and I think that the Safia sewing pattern from Tilly's book Make It Simple would be a really easy way to copy that look for yourself So it wouldn't be one of my sewing for the season vlogs or inspiration blog posts if it didn't include a viscose smock dress One of my favourite things to sew and wear. I'm wearing the indigo smock dress today actually. Um, I love this one it's just a really simple, straightforward pattern and I've made it time and time again. So indigo is a great place to start if you're looking for a simple to sew, easy to wear dress for winter. It's got so many options and if you've seen the add-on pack as well, you'll see that there's a brand new puff sleeve add-on for indigo, which we're all so excited about at Tilly and the Buttons, we just couldn't wait to get a puff sleeve on indigo. So with that added extra, you can get even more out of your indigo pattern. The tiered skirts, the sleeve options, the button-up backs, there's just so much you can do with it. And those types of dresses are always on the online shops, they're just so easy to wear, um, and indigo is the only pattern you'll need for that style. So I mentioned Mila, Cleo and Bobby before, and those are three great sewing pants for testing your denim sewing skills. I made the Mila dungarees last year in black denim and dungarees are everywhere right now and they're just such a versatile piece to have in your wardrobe and perfect for those base layers. But Cleo is perfect for beginners, so if you need one of your first sewing projects or you're just starting out on your sewing journey, then Cleo is the perfect place to start because it's, the, it's one of our most simple sewing patterns. And if you check out Sewing Cleo on Instagram, you'll see all the gorgeous versions from the community. So the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is button up details. So shirt dresses really had a moment last year and they're carrying through into the new year too. And our Lyra sewing pattern is perfect for recreating some of these high street looks that I found. Lyra is also so fabric versatile. We made samples from lightweight, from needle cord, and it just works beautifully. So if you're not too comfortable sewing with slippery fabrics like viscose or even something as light as chiffon, then try your hand at something like needle cord or a cotton poplin or lawn and you'll find it so much easier, especially when it comes to creating buttonholes. But if you're a little bit nervous of shirts because of the collars and all the buttonholes, Fear not, on our blog we've got so many tutorials to help you out with those kinds of things. We've got buttonhole tutorials, tips on how to get a perfect shirt collar, and honestly it's one of those sewing projects that's really satisfying and afterwards you'll just feel so proud of what you made. So that's everything I had to share with you in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed having a look at some of the trends I'd picked out from the high street and how you can recreate them yourself with Tilly and the Button sewing patterns. Do check out the blog post I've done along with the video because I've basically just gone fabric shopping and created one big wish list of all the fabrics um, that would be perfect to pick out these trends and a bunch of high street inspiration for you too. So I hope that it fills you with lots of ideas for your winter sewing plans. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let us know what you're making for your winter sewing plans. Anything caught your eye in this video um, and I'll see you again soon.